comedy show on Twitch where you, the viewers, are in control. Featuring special guests from all over the Twitch community and the Los Angeles comedy scene. Enter a variety of wild scenarios with colorful characters and help steer the story in whatever direction you want. You can vote in polls to make choices, submit images over Twitter and Discord. You can pay to play sound effects. Road ends in 100 feet. What the f***? It's your show too, friend. Hop on in and experience everything now. Welcome! Welcome, council members. It is I, Jonks. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it is I, Jonks. The all-powerful, all-knowing... Oh, please, stop. You're far too kind. I am Jonks, the all-powerful, wish-granting demigod. I reside at the top of this mountain, and travelers journey from far and wide to reach my mountaintop domain in hopes that their greatest desires will be realized by my wish-granting power. Of course, it's not up to me to decide whether- Okay. Boo? Don't boo me. That's no way to get your wish granted. Listen. It's not up to me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we got a very divisive crowd tonight. All right, folks, listen. It's not up to me to grant the wishes. I mean, I grant the wishes, but it's up to you to decide if the travelers are worthy. You will vote as the council. All right, get them all out now, <laughs> council members. Uh, I see we've got some familiar council members here. J. Nels, Tywin, Naked Comedy, Scott with too many T's. And I saw a few new council members as well. For those of you that are new here, if you're in the chat, you are the council of jonks. Travelers will approach me asking for their wish to be granted. We'll have a little bit of a chat, ask them some questions. You guys can ask them some questions too. We'll kind of just get a sense of their vibe. Decide whether or not if they are worthy. And then you, the council, will vote to determine if their wish is granted. There are a number of other ways that you can interact while we are meeting these travelers. Of course, if we go back into the wide shot for a moment, you'll see... If we go back into the wide shot... Thank you. If we go back into the wide shot, you'll notice that in the top left corner, for five dollars, if you really don't like a traveler, you can sacrifice them, and I will eat them, blood, bones, and all. Yes. Big pop. Big pop for human sacrifice. Thank you. Of course, if you want to speak to somebody from the uh, traveler's life, maybe someone, a lover, or a landlord, or uh, their fifth grade music teacher, you can trigger the magical phone booth. Can we bring in the magical phone booth, please? Hold on. Wow. <coughs> that thing never ceases to surprise me. Beautiful. All right, take it away. You can use that by triggering the sound effects. You can also give them a bonus wish. We don't have to look at... Oh, okay, there it is. One of tonight's bonus wish. A beautiful... What is that? Eggplant Parmesan? Delicious. Yes, trigger the bonus wishes and submit images to use as bonus wishes tonight by joining the Everything Now Show Discord. There should be a link in the chat. And of course, if we reach 15 subscriptions tonight, we'll travel into outer space. A part of the show that we neglected to explain to our guest. But I'm sure, I'm sure he'll figure it out. <laughs> of course... We'll go into outer space. I feel like that's enough of an explanation for him to get it. If we get 15 subscriptions, that's going to happen. I see we've already got some sort of copy pasta exploding in the chat. That's great. I'm going to ignore that. And for one subscription, you can sign our guest book. Can we pull up the guest book, please? Let's have a look at that guest book. Wow, these are some of the entries from the last time you guys visited my mountain. Dumb Spiro Sparrow said, this guy makes so much sense. Great comment, thank you for that. 4.5 out of 5 stars. Now I'm hungry for a sub, says Moo Cow Mail. And so on. 
If you'd like to write your own entry in our guest book, subscribe to the Everything Now Show. Let us know what message you want to add to the guest book. You can see yours displayed on the screen. All right, folks, that's enough housekeeping. I think I see the first traveler approaching my... Hey, oh. John John, it's me, your stepdad. Oh. How's it going? It's great to hey. see you again. Hi, yes. Hey, it's been a while. Yes, it has. I thought... Didn't I kill you last time you were here? I got out. We don't need to worry about that. All Listen, right. we, won't, we your, won't worry about that. Your mom and I aren't together anymore. I still want to be in your life. Oh, okay? no. What happened? She had some differences with the members of my band and the way we sort of used the house. It's not important. The thing is... What did you play again in the band? I was I was kind of like the vibes guy in the band. Like, I would hang out. Right. You know how some bands just have, like, a couple guys who are hanging out? Yeah, I guess that's sort of like a groupie is what they would call that. I don't know. That's not important, Jonks. Okay. I'm here because I want to make sure that you and I are still family. Okay, well, we were never really cool. I, I And I think that we can finally hit that right now. I'm thinking... I pitched this once. You, me, Arizona Diamondbacks game. What do you say? I am stuck at the top of this mountain. I can't go to an Arizona Diamondbacks game. We can go get a soft pretzel. I'll give you your first. I have some Zin. You know what that is? What is that? It's to, it's tobacco for your lip. You ah. can try that out. How would that sound, huh? I feel you can like... try that out for the first time. Don't tell your mom that I'm giving you that. Okay. But I'm figuring you and I, we spend a whole day together. And we really just get to the bottom of this. You you haven't been able to say you love me yet. We can really get to the bottom of this right now. I don't now. think we're going to get to that point unless you maybe wish for it to happen, and then I would be compelled to do so. All right. That, don't do that. That works out pretty well for me. Don't do I that. Wish, can I get my wish in? Yes, what is your wish? All this time. I wish for you and me to have a lovely day together watching the Arizona Diamondbacks packing Zin with each other, and at the end you tell me you love me. That feels like a lot of wishes no, kind of wrapped day. into one. It's one day. The wish is for a specific day to happen. I don't All think right. it's several wishes. Okay. So it's just sort of like a nice day out with my stepdad. Yeah. And I think I don't know how I'm gonna get my my big head into a Diamondbacks game. I think this is my wish, but I think it's actually gonna be something we both get a lot out of. And I think that's something that's really important for you, Jocks. How often are you doing this job? Huh? I have done this for all of eternity. Right. You need a break. You need a rest. You need to go to a Diamondbacks game with your old man and just really shoot You're not shit. my dad. Okay, here it you're is You're my again. stepdad. And here now you're not again. even with my mom anymore. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to be your stepdad anymore, okay? I love you, Jonx. You can say it whenever you're ready, but I love you. And we got a subscription. Thank you, Abby Sally. Let us know what you'd like to write in the guest book. And we're getting a boo for my step... What was your name again? Oh, I, we didn't even get that. Daryl. Daryl. Daryl, I wish you would smooth things over with my mom. I wish too. She does not want me around anymore. What happened? It was just the band thing? They they have a lot of off color humor. They have a lot of the jokes. The band does? Yeah, they have a lot of jokes they like to make when it's all the guys in the garage were hanging out and evidently your mom didn't appreciate it. Evidently some of the stuff was like specifically targeted towards like rock type people and she was very offended by it. Wow. I tried to talk to her. I tried to say... That's really fucked up. I tried to say, that's just Mick. He's the drummer. He is a, he's a loose cannon. You didn't, didn't try to, to correct it. your friend Mick? Mick's... You now, can't, don't, you can't don't talk sound like to much him. of an ally. You can't talk to Mick. When he gets going, you can't stop that guy. So what do you say, All right, John? let's just you get the... Me... Let's get the poll up. Right away? No questions? All right. I mean, I, I feel like... I mean, what what is there to ask? I feel like I kind of get a general sense of your vibe. What's your band called? I, yeah, I am kind of curious about the band's the name. The band, which again, I should I should stress, I'm not necessarily a performing member of the band. You're the vibes guy. I'm oh, you're the vibraphone, right? No, I don't play the vibes as an instrument. Oh. I play the vibes as like an aura, as like a spiritual sensation. Like Rick Rubin? Who's Rick Rubin? Oh. Okay. Well... Congratulations, you are going to receive a bonus wish. Cool, and we're called Mick and the Poon Hounds. Just, just Mick and the Poon Hounds? Yeah. That's disgusting. Well, congratulations. Oh my god. Even if I don't grant your wish today, you will be taking home one giant baked bean. That's what I eat most nights, honestly. One big bean for yeah. you, friend. That's kind of my meals a lot lately, ever since your mom kicked me out. Okay, so. well, you're getting an extra one. Congratulations. I'll take it. We're going to get a poll up now to decide whether or not we're granting your wish 
to have one magical day with me at an Arizona Diamondbacks game. And I guess I have to say I love you at the end. You do. And also, I'll let you have your first... I'll let you pack your first lip, Jonks. That's gross. That feels like pressure. You don't have to, but it's pretty cool. You might like it, but you don't have to. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to like it too much. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Ugh. All right, it looks like the council is going to approve this wish. And, and Jonks, this isn't a wish, but could you talk to your mother? What, for you? Just mention I've been thinking about her. Mention that I miss her. Uh, me maybe mention I came up here and we did this. I don't know. I'm not going to do damage control for you, man. Well, I'm just saying. You you have friends who are racist against rocks. That's, he's not, it's just his You're complicit, kind of style. man. All right, all right. I don't want to get into this whole thing right now. All right, we're Important granting is, the wish. We've granted my wish. You and I are going to a Diamondbacks game together. We're going to have a great time. I'm going to get you a soft pretzel. That sounds nice. All right. What was that? I said, that sounds nice. Oh, look at us. We're finally coming around a all little right, bit. All right, all right. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. We're just doing one on this one. This It doesn't take a lot of magic. Yeah, this one's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Just like logistically, not magically, just kind of like we're gonna have to talk to the Diamondbacks people about probably getting some sort of special All seating. Right, I got the vivid seats email on my phone. Okay, looks great. like we're in the 200 section. Pretty good seats, Jonks. Pretty good. All right, thanks, All right. pops. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. Great talking. Hey, and again, whenever you're ready. I love you, Jonks. I'm not going to say it until after the game. Okay, whenever you're ready. Love you. All right, goodbye. Would it be easier for us to airlift the stadium over to the mountain? That's an interesting concept, something that I'm not necessarily opposed to. And son of a pharmacist, thank you so much for the subscription. Let us know if you'd like to make an entry in our guest book. Did we get an, uh, a first entry in our guest book? We sure yeah. did. Let's have a look at what was written. Abby Sally says... Jonks really fell off, plus ratio, plus L. Whoa, wait. What the hell? So true. That's kind of mean. Well, let's just see what happens. You know, I just granted a wish. I just used my magical powers. I missed the old Jonks. All right. I'll show you the old Jonks. I think I see another traveler making their way up my mountain. Hello there, traveler. Hey, Jonks, how's you going, man? How's you going? Uh, it's me, Terry Cunt. Ter Terry Cunt? <laughs> well, you can call me Coach for short, or Coach C, or the C word, as <laughs> some of the kids call me at school, man. Coach Cunt, what is it that brings you all the way to my mountaintop domain? Bro, I wanted to get, uh, I, well, someone said, I, like, I was starving, and someone said you can get anything you want at the top of the mountain. <laughs> So on the way up, though, I hurt my knee and I got an idea. I could get any wish I want, right? That's true. It doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be my knee. It could be. It could be any. It could be eternal life. It Ooh, could be. This is good news. This is good news. Okay, here's my wish. <sighs> oh, excuse, uh, excuse me. You. Somebody Whoa. just. Yeah, I, oh. I have a little bit of indigestion from the last person who was sacrificed to me. Pardon me. Oh, man. By the way, you left a lot of meat on that bone, man. If, if, that, <laughs> if that's just trash, man, le I'll, I'll grab that on the way out. My doctor cool says you. I have a chewing problem. Ah, yeah, man. It's, it's probably the lack of teeth, bro. <laughs> that could be, that could be <laughs> it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be food. It doesn't have to be my knee. So here's my idea, Jonks. Uh, I want to know if someone's in the bathroom at a public restroom when I go up to the door. Okay, and you and you don't want to, like, knock? Is that the idea? I mean, if I have could... to knock, that's fine, but I'd prefer not to knock. I'd prefer to have the knowledge upon arrival if the stall is being used, you know? Because for me... Every time, man, even if you knock, sometimes you can't hear. Sometimes it's too loud in the bar and they don't hear the knock. And then sometimes you go to open it and someone's like, hey, someone's in here. Or you assume they would have locked it if they were on the stall. And then you go to hit the door and they didn't lock it. And you open it and you see someone on the toilet. I don't want that, man. I want the ability to go in there without, you know, blue balls, man. I don't want to get blue hole, man. If, I, if I'm heading towards a stall, I want to know I can unleash. I hate blue holes. I yeah, hear you. <laughs> down with blue hole. This happens to me all the time. Man, us and Jake Sully agree. 
Wow, it sounds like this is a much more uh, prolific problem than I uh, understood. Thank you for bringing this issue to my attention, Coach Cunt. Hey, no problem, uh, Jonks. I, be, I feel like, do you poop? You never have to use a public restroom if you're at the top of a mountain and you burp up full legs, right? That's true. You know, it's not really clear if I shit. That's That hasn't totally been established within the canon, oh, but... Oh, man. Well, let me find out the hard way. <laughs> you may. You may. Well, Coach Cut, here, I just want to... It seems like a very specific wish, and... Oh, is there... I'm sorry, was that a foul? Uh, no, no, just making sure my lungs still work. Okay. Uh, it was a hell of a hike up here. Yeah, we are at elevation. I like, like, monorail or something, but yeah, whoo! I'm getting a little, uh, altitude sickness, as the kids say. Whoo! All right, well, well I... I'm sorry, John. No, you're... <laughs> hey, look, you know, it, we have to make it high up here to make it sort of worthwhile for the whole, you know, magical wish thing. Uh, oh, thank yeah. you, dumb Spiro Sparrow. Uh, so listen, I, I, you know, I respect the wish. I just want to sort of run by some maybe punch-ups, because it's, you know, it's very specific, but what if you, you know, you could wish for, for, for... Uh, reading people's minds, for example, and then you'd be able to read the mind of whomever is in the bathroom. Bro, or... I don't even have time to read the newspaper on the can, man. <laughs> you can see me be reading people's minds and stuff. That seems overwhelming. Also, the last thing I want to do is be sitting across from some chick on the train being like, damn, I want to titty F her, and then have her be like, uh, and then I hear her thoughts, and she's like, if this pig is thinking about TFing me, I'm going to off myself the second I get home. I can't live with that, Jonks, man. That's too much responsibility. And you know what Spider-Man says? With great responsibility comes like mad stuff you have to do all the time. Wow. Damn. That's a great point. I, I hadn't even considered wanting to titty fuck a stranger on the train, but you're right. Ah, well, you haven't been on a train, I'm assuming, you big blockhead. Because right. if you're on the train and you see a pair of titties and you don't want to engage in intermammary sex, you're missing out. Wow. You're making me feel like I might be out of touch, Coach Cunt. Oh, no. I, you can't be more out of touch than me, man. I tried to play a song for my players the other day, and they roasted me hard. Apparently, Ring Around the Rosie doesn't have the same hype as it once did. <laughs> I, of course, coach third grade basketball. <laughs> Over at Burroughs uh, uh, Elementary. This is not a uniform. They make me wear it because I get lost all the time. Yeah, I was wondering. Now I was thinking maybe that was some sort of camaraderie thing with your team that you were wearing the jersey. But you're saying you literally don't remember where you work unless you wear that. This is the, like, uh, you know, jersey version of having your name in your underwear. I see. Okay. How uh, many people were losing their underwear back in the day that you need to put your name in? It? That's a great question. You know, that could be another wish is to have, you know, sort of, uh, omnipot- what is it? Omni- omniscience. And then you would know everything. You would know where you work. You would hey, know whether or not- Hey, look, somebody... man, I'm coming up here asking you for a wish, and you pitching me fucking alt-wishes? I don't have- I can't- I killed- I fucking nearly killed myself coming up here, and now you're like, get omnipotence, get impotence, get mind-reading, speed-reading. I don't need any of this, Jonks, man. I need to know when I approach a stall, or a door, depending on the layout of the restroom and the public area, if, if there is someone currently engaging in scat. That way I need to be able to walk up there confidently, walk in and go, nobody's in here, I could go pee. Or poo, I'm pooping. Very well. I <laughs> understand yeah, your you, wish. Thank you, thank you. I saw these guys on the way up, they blew past me, but they felt bad when I got up here. They were like, why don't you go ahead, Mr. Cunt? <laughs> oh, you you carry a certain amount of respect in these parts, is that is that what I'm it's understanding? It's a solid combination of pity and like, uh, like, what's it called when you're watching a car crash video? And um, you're getting off on it for some reason? It's, I guess, like, sexual schadenfreude, maybe? Yes, yes! That's exact. <laughs> oh, jonks, wherever the fuck you are, man. Sorry, I got my glasses prescription backwards, so it's confusing to me. Normally, it's my left eye that's lazy, but it's now it's your right. Coach Cunt, I'm, I'm being told that we have a, a phone call for you. Please step back as the magic phone booth appears from the ground. Of course. Oh, yeah, it's right... <laughs> Here. Yes, that's it. Uh-huh. Go ahead and hello. pick up... Oh, the phone's right here by the phone. <laughs> pick up the phone. How convenient. Yes. Oh, hello. Someone's on the line for you. Hey, coach. Yo. Hey, it's it's Johnny, team captain. 
Uh, which team captain? Johnny? Johnny? Johnny. Oh, Johnny. yes. Johnny, Johnny okay. the team yeah, captain. Yeah, little Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was your dad, Big Johnny. Uh, he used to be a team captain back in the day. No. Hey, Jonks, I'm just going to... Jonks, I'm going to be one second. Yeah, I got sure. a phone call here, okay? Go ahead. Jonks? Over Wait, here. Nope, Jonks. <laughs> yes. Wait, Jonks. Jonks? Yes, sir. Jonks. Yes, coach. Yeah, I'll be right off. I'm on the I'm on the phone right now, over here. You got it, coach. Oh, coach. I'm going to just skip... Him. Okay. <laughs> Jonks can't see me. What's up, little Johnny? Johnny, jo uh, Coach Cunt, you you left us in halfway. We were halfway to the away game, and then you said, "I've got an idea," and you left the you left the you left the bus. Did you win? We didn't get. The, we you left the bus, and now we're stuck. None of you stopped, picked up my slack, and started driving where I left off. We got scared because we're on the part of the, where the cars are going really fast, and there's oh, no yeah, streetlights. Oh Parkway, Johnny, you got this. Put your pedal to the metal, close your eyes, and grip it in rip it just like i teach you in the zone defense coach i'm the captain and i want to make you proud but i don't one know if i, second, I don't know if my feet yes, can touch take your time I, coach Gunn. i don't know if my feet can touch the ground part where the where the car goes and i'm really scared can, are you coming back anytime soon little johnny i didn't want to do this but you're fucking cut with this attitude okay I'm sorry. okay I'll, I'll do See, it johnny your father was one of the best goddamn players i ever played with. okay i'll he do it he drove me home from a bank heist and you can't even handle a goddamn bus ride little johnny do yourself a favor put your head under the front tire and let and let little mikey drive home he's the hey little mikey you're the captain now oh s sweet I forgot which one little Mikey was. He's the one that's just a head with little arms and legs. We're toast. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna tell little Mikey to do it, even though he's just arms and legs. Mommy says I have spirit. Yes, you do, little Mikey. You got big spirit. Yes, you do. All right, coach. I'm gonna make you proud. I'm gonna put my head in front of the front wheel of the car. Goodbye. God bless, little Johnny. Uh, Jonks. Yes. Uh, Jonks. Yes. Does this thing make outgoings? Uh, I don't know. Do you have to make an emergency call? I have to call my cardiologist and just ask what it means when your heart stops for 45 seconds. Let me see if I can connect you. Hold on. We're gonna let's see. Uh, I don't think we've ever used this phone for an outgoing call, but we'll we'll see if we can finagle that. Uh, let me focus here. Yes, we've got your cardiologist. Oh, wow, that was holy shit, Doctor Cardiologist, my proctologist. How is it going? Yeah, hi. <laughs> hey, how's it go it's going. It's. I'm glad you called. I got some of the results back, and it's not looking good, Coach. I Cut. felt that. I felt that. Please tell me the results, my card. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one second. Let me just. Hey, John. Yeah, over here. Uh. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Hey, Jonks. What's up? I'll be right out. <laughs> you. Hey, all right. You know what I'm going. You know I got you. I'm trying. What was that, Doc? Uh, I was just, uh, right, so it's your gastro gastrointestinal tract. That's what I'm in charge of. Your GI tract? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, Doc, did you write down this before you called me with my new, before I called you? Yeah, well, you called me. I wasn't actually <laughs> Sorry, ready. Sorry, I know it's four in the morning where you live. Uh, yeah. But you should be getting up soon. You're a triathlete, well, right? yeah, I was about to go do my run and bike and swim, but I did get this, like, urgent message because it seems that your colon is doing this thing where it's, have you ever heard of an Ouroboros of a uh, snake eating its tail. Oh, is that the Northern Lights? No. <laughs> That's Aurora Borealis. Oh, okay, what's, okay. What's, what's happened with your large intestine is it's created this loop where everything is just perpetually going in and out over and over and Hold over on again. Hold one second. Hey, Jonks, have you ever heard of Ouroboro? Is that the uh, Northern Lights? He says no, but I think he's bullshitting me. <laughs> He's saying my asshole's in a full circle or eat like a snake eating it or something like mm. that? Sounds like something a wish might be able to take care of. All right, I said I had a wish. <laughs> Jesus, with your alt-wish propaganda. Doc? Yeah. Um, I'll come in for a follow-up. I'll keep an eye on my asshole. Okay, let me I, know. I, I have a feeling nothing's going to come out for a while. Because... Yeah, I still got the fiber optic camera up there, so it should be... Uh, oh, you wanna... you, we I were looking for link. that. <laughs> I sent you the link. You can watch the stream. It's on Twitch or something. Okay. I don't get it. I'm old, but you oh, can watch it on Twitch. I have to make an account for this? I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I'm going to really do this. I'm actually all-knowing. The link to your asshole cam is twitch.tv slash everything now show. Hey, thank, thank you, Jonks. You're I welcome. don't know. Thank I'm, you, Jonks. You're over there. Um, Dr. Cardiologist. I'm not going to check this out. What happened to Jay Leno? You know, what happened to just like Jay Leno? He what? tells you a joke about Monica Lewinsky being a hussy. What happened to those times? Well, you I'll know? tell you what happened to those times. He 
didn't spend any of his Tonight Show money. He only spent his road money, and he's got all that Tonight Show money saved up. No way. And, yeah, and he better, because the Writers Guild is on strike, and he's got to be dropping donuts off in Burbank every fucking week. At least that's what I'm reading on all the message boards. Okay. All right, anyway, you're very sick, so... Yeah, I yeah, would, yeah. yeah I I'm aware. I hurt my knee on the walk up, too, so i got to figure that out. Yeah, I'm a little that's hungry. not my specialty, but I, I hope to see you soon. I've got to go bike and swim and run now. Take okay, care. Okay, I'm going to get out of the magic phone booth. It's nothing like that show, The Who, uh, Tommy. Step away from the phone. Step Woo. away from the phone. Woo. Careful, watch your step. We're not really sure where that thing goes. Yeah. Well, Coach Cunt, it sounds like it sounds like that was a very uh, meaningful conversation with your doctor. Did you get everything you needed out of that? Yeah, I apologize for doing that in front of you and whoever else might be waiting, but I had to get some of that important business done. You feel me? Understood. And I, did I overhear that you told a third grader to kill himself with a bus? Oh, if he dies, he dies. If he lives... He's got a great fucking story. And isn't that all we're searching for, Mr. Johnson? Amen, Coach Cunt. Amen. Well, I just want to run it back one more time. Make sure that you're dead set on this wish to know whether or not the person on the other end of a bathroom door is taking a shit or not. Or if there's even someone in there, you can even back it off that. I don't need to get in their personal business. Right. Just is I don't want to have to knock and engage with someone that is currently pooting. Got it. And how would that work? Is it just like an instinct, or would there be like some kind of glowing aura that he sees? Hey, man, this is fucking Jonks's deal to answer, man. I just had a question. Yeah, Jonks, answer that fucking guy. That's a good question. Well, I guess it's up to you. I mean, we could do sort of like a Spidey Sense thing. We could do sort of like a physical indicator, like maybe your hand starts glowing or you get a huge erection or something. My high school basketball nickname was Spider Man, so that might work for me. Okay, that's interesting. You would think a guy would. The last name Cunt would have some a different nickname. Yeah, well, I did until you fucking get jizz on your hand, someone throws a basketball to it, and it sticks. And then you can't get it off, and you go to dribble it, and it keeps whipping back and forth like the old paddle ball game. And that now it's called paddle ball for a while. Then, when I, I ate a Black Widow spider, and they started calling me Spider Man. Sorry with that detour in the middle there. Wow, honestly. And I had an Uncle Ben who killed himself in front of me. Extremely merciful. He kids. mugged himself and died. <laughs> He stole his own wallet. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Coach oh. Cunt. It appears that one of our council members has decided to sacrifice you. Thank you, Naked Comedy. <laughs> How did you know I want... Coach Cunt, it appears that the council has determined you are to die. However, oh, thank God. You now, no. Well, if you, if you wanted to die, I guess that's that's uh, that's your prerogative. But oh, and thank you, Lil Uzi Nate, for the subscription. But uh, now it is your turn, Coach Cunt, to plead for your life. If you can convince the council to donate ten dollars, your life will be spared, and we will grant your wish. If I could get the council to donate fifteen, can I still die? <laughs> yes. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> Who's got fifteen bucks, or which three of you's got five? Got five on it. I want to die. I don't want to go back. I can't force the kid to kill himself. My knee hurts. I'm hungry, and I still don't know who's in the bathroom. Uh, please. Sometimes the council will keep you alive if you make it too obvious that you want to die no! out of spite. No! Council, please let me die. Or, I want to live. <laughs> I want to live forever. I want to be like Mel Gibson and with less hating of Jewish people. <laughs> I want to be forever young. I was never young. I was born bald. Council, if you aren't already confused, now is your time. Okay. All right. All right. There's a 15. We're going to kill this guy. Thank you, nuclear goo. I will come to your house as a spirit and positively haunt you. <laughs> it's time to eat. Oh, wait. Hold on. It's oh, <laughs> confusing. Yes. Now I get to die. The original plan I want. Wait, am I alive? Fuck. That's sure. actually what I wanted. This Who's is confusing. <laughs> I think let's go back. Let's well, go. I think we got the 15. So we got the 10 to spare. Right. We got the 15 to 
kill him again. You're right. Okay, so now we're back to killing yeah, it's him. 20 to now it's 20 to save him. All right, let me die, will you? Save your fucking money for something better. The world is coming to an end. The world is ending. Don't listen to me. I'm going to eat him. Eat me. Time to eat. Oh. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Enjoy yum. eating cunt. <laughs> Mmm, delicious cunt. Wow. What a... What a delicious sacrifice that was. Thank you, council members, for the sacrifices. I noticed that we also got a handful of subscriptions there. Did we get any new entries into our guest book? Still playing catch up, but we've got a couple. Alright, let's have a look at what we've got. It seems that son of a pharmacist said, Cody Zeller, still a basketball player. Shouts out to that, and then there's a message from a username that I can't read. Oh, Dumb Spiro Spyro says, Journey to Junks, wished for jorts, got gypped, what a joke. Five stars. I think I'm not supposed to say that word yeah, actually anymore. I think that's that. a, I think that's now a slur. Wrong, so I, I guess, fine. okay, yeah, as long as you spell- As long as you spell the slur wrong, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's the rule. All right, well, uh, folks, thank you so much for those, <laughs> I guess, or at least one of those. Uh, entries into our guest book. If you want to make your own entry into our guest book, go ahead and subscribe to the show. We've already got four. If we get 15, we'll go into space where you'll be able to wish upon some stars. That's only 11 more subs. Let's get those in, folks. But now, of course, I see another traveler making their way here. Hi. Hello there, traveler. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, I'm in a hurry, so if we can just kind of get to the wish... That'd oh, be really okay, awesome. well, uh, typically I allow some time to get to know you to determine if you're worthy. I get that, I'm a fan, I watch, I, I've seen your thing before, I get it. Well, I'm then you understand that these things take time, Traveler. What is your name? Yeah, uh, Joshua Jackson. Joshua Jackson. <laughs> Joshua Jackson, what brings you to my mountaintop domain? Yeah, I was, uh, um, I was hoping that you could make it so that the Lakers, uh, win the next game. The next game. Yeah. Hmm. The next game. Yeah. Alright, I want to be clear with you, Joshua. The next game will be in the next season. What are you, the, talk, what are you talking about? There's well, one there, more. Well, oh, how long have you been traveling, Joshua? I, I re I'm really in a hurry. I, I spent nine days climbing the mountain. Okay, so, alright, I see what's happening yeah, here. Well, and Joshua. My, my, my kids are in the car at the bottom, and I really am trying to. You left get your back kids in the them. car for nine days? Yeah, I was really hoping to make it a little shorter, but you just have so many amenities up here. It's really a fantastic experience. Thank you. We've been working on improving the guest experience. I can here. tell. I can tell. Honestly. How is the gift shop, by the way? It's fine. It's fine. Mostly the plushies left. They said that the tr there's a truck coming with more, you know, uh, memorabilia and action figures and all that kind of fun stuff. Okay, cool, cool, Hype cool. beast jackets with your face on it. And that yeah, kind of we were thing. really excited about the hype beast jackets. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really uh, great. Also, all right, the, the Great Wolf Lodge is fantastic. Oh, cool. Uh, a great addition. Great. Uh, so, you we, didn't want to leave your kids there. You decided to just lock them in the car. I didn't know it was there. I didn't know it was there. I thought it was just going to be like a, a, a thirty-minute walk up, get my wish done, and then we go back home to Tacoma. But I didn't uh, anticipate this uh, entire entertainment plaza that you had going on the side of your ass, you know. So. Got it. Yeah. Big Lakers friend from Tacoma, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, never forget where you're originally from. Ah, uh, you know? you're you're you're. Uh... Originally from L.A.? No, I'm from Boise. Oh, um, I see. Yeah, I just really like watching the Lakers. Started with Kobe. Got it. And ended with Kobe mostly, but, you know, I have a lot of money riding on the series, so I'd really like for this Seems to like we've got some Laker haters quick. waiting in line. Uh, well, all right, Joshua. Well, listen, you sound like a family man. Yeah. I'm going to not think too hard about the fact that you locked your kids in the car for nine days. And lock them in there. Oh, it's, the door's open? Yeah. Did you like crack the windows or something? No, I mean the doors were just wide open. I just like, oh, you so just, just left the doors fully open. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I don't He's know if that's more or less safe. 
I mean, uh, you know, it's better than people breaking into the car and being like, hey, my kids, you know, these kids can't fucking breathe or whatever, you know. Got some fucking lib down my throat telling me that I'm not a good parent or something. Okay, so, uh, interesting. All right, yeah. we're starting to get a sort of sense for your vibe, Josh. Sure, sure. Uh, council members, do you have any questions for Joshua? Anything that you'd like to ask him to determine whether or not he is worthy? What does he think the series is for him? Yeah, where, where do you think the series is at right now? 3-1? Wait, okay, hold on. Are you, like, guessing? What? Uh, okay, here's a question. Uh-huh. What's with the hot dog? Oh, yeah, it's from the stand right at the top of the hill. Oh, you bought that as merch? It's my lunch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. Are your kids Lakers fans? Is this, like, a family thing? I don't know. I never really talked to them about it, actually, honestly. Uh, they mostly talk about, like, school stuff... This thing called the Hunger Games. They like the Hunger Games. Legend, Legend of Zelda or something like that. Yeah, a new yeah. game just came out. I heard it's pretty good. They were saying something like that, but I was mostly, I had my headphones in. I was listening to, uh, what's that guy? Uh, Bill Simmons. Right. Yeah. Does he still think they're playing Golden State? Yeah, wait, what, who are they playing yeah, in man, your Steph mind? Steph Curry's going fucking down right now. Oh, right? okay. I guess you got good news and bad news. So. Yeah, hmm. I'm gonna go fucking down, and I have, I got a cool two million on this game, on you the bet series. Two million dollars. Yes. yes. Wow. Yeah. On game five of the Lakers Warriors series. Well. What does that mean? It what means, that mean? congratulations, Joshua. Whether or not you get your wish granted, you will be taking home a bonus wish. Yeah! Let's, Let's take what a look it? It? at your it? It? prize. We're gonna be pulling it up in just a moment, but I'm sure it's gonna be. Awesome. Congratulations, you're taking home this Shiba Inu wearing a Russian tracksuit. Yeah. Congratulations, See, that's coming home with you. That's gonna be your responsibility. Do I gotta feed it or give, yep. it, give it cigarettes or something? You gotta, yeah, you have to, it smokes cigarettes. It smokes, it smokes Marlboro 27s. Uh, so you're gonna have to, it will not, it will not smoke anything but Marlboro 27s. I quit, man. I only vape, so I'm gonna have to change some things in my tough life. For you. There, ipso facto, if so facto, then I need the Lakers to win this game and for me to win four million dollars. So, all right. How much? How much do you have left to you know like put your kids through school if this if if for some reason this two million dollar bet doesn't hit? Twenty, thirty, about thirty. You're thirty. You're thirty mil in the hole. Uh, no, no, I'll have $30 if I don't, if I don't. Oh, you'll this. have $30 remaining. Yes. I see. Is that what you were asking? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll have $30 Please. left over. So I had $2 million You had $2 million $2 million and $30. Dollars. Yeah. You bet basically everything you have on this game. Basically. Well, Josh, we're going to be calling a friend of yours. We're going to be calling somebody from your life. Look, I got faith in that white guy. You know, I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna come through. The white guy on the Lakers. Yeah, Austin Reeves or something. <laughs> okay. Well, we might have him on the line. <laughs> oh no, shit! Really? I don't know. No I shit, we're really? Gonna we're gonna see. Step up to the phone booth, and we'll see who's on the line. All right, I'll talk to any white basketball player. Honestly, I'm cool with that. Give me the, the guy. phone booth is by the phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. Thank you. I remember that from when I was up here. You're still Thanks, here. Coach Cuts. <laughs> Just yell that from inside the Oh, mouth. yeah. Sorry, let me open my mouth so you can hear him better. The acoustics are fantastic. <laughs> yes. All oh, right, I died. <laughs> hey, Dad? Oh, hey. Oh, it's your son. Does anyone know my son's name? It's, uh, I think it's Little Joshua. It's you named him. It it's Joshua Jr. It's your it's your name. Da 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 da. Hey, hey little Joshy, what's up, big man? Um, we've been in the car for uh, nine days and. I know, um, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry. We ran out of food and. What? I just saw a, a bus run over a boy's head, and now I'm scared. I saw little it in the Joshua. distance. Ask, ask him if we can get McDonald's on the ride home. And we were wondering, because since we saw that scary <laughs> thing, <laughs> if we could get McDonald's on the ride home to make us feel better. Okay. Your dad, it fucked us up. Can we get fribbles? If you think that every fucking tragedy that you witness, you know, and every car roadside accident that you see <laughs> earns you some freaking fast food, you got another thing coming to you, little guys, okay? 
Mark, that, Mark pointed out that we see a lot of tragic shit on the roads, Dad. Yes, dangerous world out there right now. And we've eaten. We've only enough, eaten actually. goldfish, and we haven't eaten in a day. And, and I, now the pond is empty. And now the pond is empty, and I saw a man die. So can I? He was my age, and it made me think that it could happen to me, and I want to talk about that. But first, can I get McChicken? Step away from the phone. What? Step away from the phone. Hold on. I had, you can post me. It's just less than six dollars. The call is ended. Watch your step. Joshua, the council has decided to sacrifice your life. What? Joshua, the council has decided to sacrifice your life, but you can try to convince them to spare you for ten dollars. The floor is yours. Look, I got eleven kids, and that's not- Wait, you have eleven kids? Yeah. That's- uh, that doesn't mean that I don't have my shit together. Is that I just work harder to take care of them all, okay? And that's why I'm here. I came to Jonks Mountain to better their lives. So if I win this bet, then they can all go to college at the same time, because they're all the same age. All 11 of them. Josh, Are they all in the, the car? The council wants to see his hat. The council wants to see your sure. hat. yeah, no problem, absolutely. Is that a hat that says Ligma Balls in the style of Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z? Z? Dragon Ball Z font, yeah. That's right. Where did, you, where did you even get that? I make them. You made that custom? Yeah. Wow. It's on my Etsy. Father of 11. Etsy, you red bubble. Him, can I have his hat, Jonks? You want his hat? No, I'm definitely eating that if, if it comes to that. But oh, if anyone man. here wants one, they are $99, $99 plus tax and shipping. $99, holy shit. Yeah. Jax, can I catch him up on the Lakers before he dies? Well, we're going to see if the council... Count, uh, to be honest, I don't see the money coming in to spare this guy's life <laughs> if we're being totally forthcoming. Right, Joshua, Give me the good news. Give me the good news at least. For you. They okay. lose game five. You lost all that money. Wait, what are you talking? The game's not until like tomorrow. No, it's been nine days since you last checked the score. So I what? have to catch you up on. They lose game five, but they win game six no. and they beat the Warriors. <laughs> yeah, baby! They are there. Yeah, baby! They You're won. out two million dollars. Yeah. They are also then swept in the next round by the Nuggets. They lose the, just four in a row. And oh. everyone's calling him the bust and the bum, even though he's 38 and has won like seven times. Oh. Honestly, that's the magic of sports, though. It's cool if you lose. It's just not your turn, you know? Kind isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And well, isn't that sort of po a poetic way to end your own life, Joshua? Honestly, sports is art, in my opinion, actually. And I could talk about that for a while. Damn, that's beautiful. If only you were going to survive more longer <laughs> to impart that poetic wisdom onto your 11 children, Look, who will we... now be fatherless alone in a car at the bottom of a mountain. Can we hurry this up? Because my wife is giving birth in any minute. Oh, now. God. Yes, time to eat. Oh, oh, this is good. Oh no. Oh, I'm, I'm okay with this. I hate it when they like it. Well, Council, it appears that another traveler has met his fate inside my tum-tum. Yes, two travelers have come, and neither have their wishes granted, because it appears that there is a bloodthirst among the Council tonight. I'll remind everybody that if we get 11 more subscriptions, we'll go into outer space. <laughs> <laughs> we or you can win. <laughs> we all know what that means. No, no need to clarify further. Uh, of course... You uh, are the Council of Jonks. If you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I'm a wish-granting demigod. I live at the top of this mountain. Travelers come from far and wide to have their wishes granted. Something that we haven't really made clear yet tonight because you guys keep killing everyone who comes up here. But technically speaking, as a traveler arrives, they'll ask for their wish to be granted. And it will be up to you, our Council, to vote and decide if that wish is granted. I think I see another traveler making their way up the hill right now. Hello, traveler. 
Hey, Jonks, Linwood Merck, how's it going? <laughs> Mr. Merck, welcome. Thank you for having me, Mr. Jonks. What brings you to my mountaintop domain? Well, you know, I would like... Is this where I tell you my wish, or are you just asking <laughs> casually what I, what I, why I wanted to come up here? Well, I guess bo most people come up here to have their wishes granted, but if you just were, like, hiking or something, that's... Nah, I'm keeping an eye on the place, okay? I'm what they call a guardian angel. Really? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> One of our council members is wondering why you're dressed like a Black Panther. That would be considered cultural appropriation. <laughs> I'm stealing the culture of trashy white people, ah. a.k.a. The, <laughs> the Guardian Angels. The organization Curtis Siwa started in New York in the 70s to protect people on the street, a.k.a. a group of fascist violent freaks out for vengeance and vigilanteism. All the Vs. And a little vagina, you know? A little, uh, well, normal size vagina, but little in a mouse. Understood. I'm a big fan of the giant pussy jocks. I don't <laughs> want to get into it here on the top of the mountain, but I was just keeping an eye out, making sure everyone's safe. But you're telling me you grant wishes? That's right. Your greatest desires could be realized if only you ask for a wish. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Look, I've been benching 315 for reps for years. I would like, I wish that my bench was at 320. 320 for reps or 320 I've been having a hard time PR. putting 5 by... Oh, well, yeah. Not rep PR? No, not a 1RM, please. I already got 5x5 five five at 315. I would like to juice up to 5x5 five five at 320. I think that'll push my 1RM over 400, which will finally get me the respect I deserve in the locker room. Because I go to Gold's Gym in Belmore on Long Island, and everyone there is a juice head. And one time, I watched Kane suck off the Undertaker in the showers. Jesus They're Christ. Not, it's not weird. It's not weird. They're not brothers. That's just in the show, in the wrestling, they're brothers. In real life, they're not. So watching them suck each other's dick wasn't creepy. It's not I mean, creepy. It wasn't weird, yeah. It's just I guess. people. See, thank you. These guys <laughs> understand kayfabe. That's why you don't get your hair cut from Brutus the Barber Beefcake. He fucks it up. Take it from me. Got three scars on the side of my uh, head. Is that why the ice. beret? That's why the beret. That is a uniform of the Guardian Angels. Got it. And also the the shirt. Is that stolen valor or did you actually serve? I uh, this I was I did go to Vietnam on a surf trip in high school. Got it. So you're a veteran. I fucking of a killed surf I trip. killed somebody while I was there. <laughs> oh, okay. It was you know, it wasn't political or even an act of war, but it was a street fight and uh, well, I lost those. bad and was driving away and hit a kid in a car. <laughs> We count those. All right, well, then I'm a vet, sir, and why do, can I get your seat on the subway? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yes, yes, of course, you're welcome. Thank you. It seems like a lot of people in line are saluting you now for some reason. Yes, well, then I deserve it. I am a hero. I've survived an encounter in Vietnam. I survived an encounter at the Capitol building. I am... <laughs> I am a guardian angel. I'm out to protect people. I was just there that day protecting democracy. An encounter, yes. That's a very, very diplomatic way of putting it. Well, sir, I appreciate your service, and thank you so much for that. And thank you, sir. <laughs> and thank you. Thank, oh, please, allow me to thank you. Very well. All right. All right, so if I understand correctly, your wish is to... Give me the metric one more time. Just go up five pounds on my uh, on my five by five in the bench, because I think that'll bring it to bring me to the next level as a guardian angel. I will be able to protect people more because I will have more unearned confidence. And with the ability to bench that much, which doesn't really translate at all to physical interaction, <laughs> right? It'll just give me something to bring up at fire department bars. I hang out at fire department bars because chicks love firemen, and I'm not one, but I look like one. That's true. You definitely have the aesthetic down. Yeah, I get a little firefighter runoff pussy. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, the f fall and winter of 01, I was fucking <laughs> dripping in it, dog. Put a little ash. Wait, you go. I came out of I put a little ash on my face, and I was just getting it left and right. I hope I and survived thank you for your encounter tonight. Yes. And just a reminder to our council that for a meager $5, I will kill this guy with my mouth. Uh, okay. All right. Last guy that offered to kill me with his mouth. <laughs> I never saw his face. It was through the stall at a truck stop. I see. It, was, it wasn't a pro wrestler. He the life out of me, dog. I see. Well, all right. So 
Uh, the wish is to increase your bench press by five pounds in a hope that it will impress more people at the local firefighter barbecue. Yes. Now, I just, I want to be clear here. Well, first of all, I, I think I guess we should uh, get some questions from our council just to make sure that you're worthy. Council members, are there any questions? What did you say your name was again? Lynn manuel <laughs> It's Lynn Manuel Merck. Lynn Manuel. My name is Merck. my full name is Lindale M Linwood Merck, but uh, after uh, Hamilton came out, still haven't seen it. Uh, I, I started going by Lynn Manuel Merck because when you have just when you tell someone at the coffee shop, "Whoa, what's your name, sir?" for the latte, you go Lynn Manuel, and they write that down. And then it, when they say your name, everyone watches you go and get your coffee. God, it seems like a lot of your personality is based on stealing the identity and and. And sort of valor of other types of people to sort of get what you called, uh, what was that, like slide off pussy? Uh, run off pussy. Run off jocks, pussy. Yeah. Now, Jocks, you don't the think. The pussy you... trickles down. Yeah, it's trickle down <laughs> pussonomics. <laughs> if Reagan's wife, Reagan's, he would have been right if Reagan's wife wasn't such a fucking throat goat. Now. Amen, brother. Now, Jocks, you think I'm purely stolen valor? I've, you're not the first big stone head I've engaged with, okay? Oh, really? Bill de Blasio was the other one. Oh! Yes! Yeah! 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 Isn't it crazy that now Bill de Blasio is retroactively a very good mayor thanks to Eric Adams? You were so foolish. Hey, do people up here in the mountaintop like New York specifics or what? Because I might grab a slice at Famous Ray's. I am right there with you. Yes, thank you. Oh, shit, it's Spike Lee that said that. Yes. Hell yeah, Spike go Spike Lee next. is in line. <laughs> thank you, Spike. I All love right. the five bloods. It looks like we had... Creatine, I wish, dude. I can't. I had to give my liver up for science years ago. You just don't have one now? I do not have one. No, science took it from me. It was my third liver. I had been, you know, all these kids were just dying in car accidents back in the day. So I was just running through livers, just drinking my way through them. And so now I'm without one. So I got cirrhosis of the lungs. I can't be fucking with no creatine, bro. But... I appreciate the reco. Can't believe another famous New Yorker just gave me that recommendation. Thank you, Louis C.K. <laughs> Anytime, dude. Wow. All right, man. What are you doing over there? I'm going to go to Murray's tea shop and hang out like I've been doing since I got cancer. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. I see what you're doing. You're back there counting down from 20, proving you can nut on zero. <laughs> Wow, all the stars are story out. a lot of people know. <laughs> no, just, yeah, I, don't, I don't either. Uh, I never guessed on Unlucky Louie. <laughs> oh, all the stars are out tonight. Which reminds me, folks, for a mere 11 more subs, we'll go into outer space. And then we'll see all the stars. That's right. We'll get to talk Smoking to some of them. in a tin can. <laughs> All right, I think we had a ton of questions for you, but they all seem to have been... She Nancy on my Reagan until I trickled down Pussonomics. Wow. Damn, I just got hard, soft, and then hard again. Incredible. Reading is exhausting for me. We had we had a lot of questions. They seem to have disappeared from the page now because all the chat is filled with people talking about Pussonomics now. Um, yeah, if we could get some of those questions Wade back up. Wade through the Pussonomics. That sounds like an album. Uh, we got Are You Single as well. Oh, yeah. What's, we what's a the relationship? This, that's a Rob Zombie song, right? We got to wade through the pussonomics. <laughs> pussonomics. <laughs> what was the question? Am I single? Yeah. You oh, seen anyone? Oh, yeah. I'm very divorced, as they say. Yeah. That I was... think some people call it being a widower. That was very clear. Wait, you said they called it a widower? Did she die? Or did she she died die? on the way to divorce court, but I had already... Uh, what happened to her? It's crazy. I don't. I didn't know there was that many snipers downtown LA. But someone got fucking someone iced her through the windshield because I guess I don't. I mean I don't know why they did. It's a good thing we got the guardian angels. Yeah, the guardian angels. You know, I wish I, I said after that. Let me be on the rooftop on Overwatch, keeping an eye out for snipers. You never know. They had one in Maryland. They got one here, and then Bradley Cooper, of course, was killing all those guys in Afghanistan. <laughs> of course. Chris Kyle. Thank you for your service, Mr. Cooper. Thank you, Bradley Cooper. Uh, Internet Crow, thank you for the uh, subscription. We're now only ten subs away from going well, in outer space. Quite a lot is how big is it? That's yes. There, Open for interpretation. Yeah. Now, what are they referring to? The borough of Manhattan or am I Becca? Because big is, you know, figurative. It's, <laughs> I'm not it's sure. It's a huge, flat pecker. Uh, I, 
How can I describe it? Have you ever seen an uncharged fire hose? Now this line always works at the fire barbecue, so I'm sure I'm sure it might work here. But an uncharged fire hose, like, like an egg noodle, like an egg, like a yes, thank you. Oh my God, thank yes, that's right, Ira Glass. <laughs> it's like an egg noodle. It's like a big wide egg noodle. It's six feet of gum for you, not them. Uh, it's wide and flat. It's sort of like a sheet of loose leaf, and uh, I can roll it up. And get and get work done. It's is it like an alligator? <laughs> nice try, jerk off. It's more like a crocodile. <laughs> well, I hope these questions have illuminated whether or not Ooh, Lin Manuel is another worthy. Sub. Another sub. We're making our way to our goal. A get mere a couple nine more left. Subs, I might actually come tonight. You get it? I'm a dom. This guy's a dom, and we're we're really piecing together this guy's whole identity. All right, uh, all right. So just to return to the wish. Uh, I, I saw one question in here from the council. They were wondering why not just wish to uh, increase your PR f by 500 pounds and then have nearly superhuman strength. The second you, the second you start benching that much, everyone's starting to look at you. Everyone's asking questions. You on Decca, you on Winnie's, you on Trend, you on Trend Balone. You know, and then next thing you know, you're answering all these questions and then you're running late from the gym and, and you're driving to work and you're late because you were stuck in the gym answering these questions. You got to shit because you had a bunch of pre-workout and then post-workout. So you're racing to get there. Now you get to work and you don't know if someone's in the toilet stall or not, you know? It's kind of an issue. That uh, seems like a really common issue that yeah, people have. It, that's, that makes me feel better because when I looked up fire ho uncharged fire hose cock online, I didn't find anyone having that same issue. There was, was no nice WebMD for that? There was no WebMD, <laughs> no, but I did get a Pornhub video of myself served to me. Wow. I didn't realize someone was filming me there. A lot going on in those gym locker rooms, I guess. Yeah, dude, there's all kinds of crazy shit. I saw Kane sucking off Undertaker. <laughs> I, right. told you, I told you I saw Brent the Hitman Hart doing the sharpshooter to his dead brother, Owen. Oh my God. Yeah, I guess... <laughs> I guess they had brought his brother in to test if the steroid needles were working because his corpses. So they were just fucking juicing up his corpse, and we could see him getting stronger and stronger by the minute. So then we, uh, you know, we were like, "This is exciting!" And then Brett's like, "Let me put him in a sharpshooter, see if we can handle it." Brett slaps the sharpshooter on Owen Hart, snaps his neck in half. I guess you can be like fragile as you die longer. It's like a beehive. He crumbled. It was crazy. Hey, boys will be boys. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's well, what I'm saying. Locker room talk, more like locker room. Lin Manuel. Talk. I just want to let you know, however it goes with your wish, you will be taking home this bonus wish. Let's have a look at what you're coming home with. One oh. forty of Miller Lite. Oh, that's awesome. I got to duct tape that to my foot and play. And you've got, have you never played Teddy, Teddy 40 foot? Oh, man. If I had feet, you know I would. Oh, dude, no feet? No what feet. What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit, man. I know. You're a meters guy? Am I a what? Meters guy? Meters? No, I what is I don't know what that means. That's just a joke. Uh, my ex-husband is a mathematician, so I throw shit around like that. Oh, you swing both ways. That's correct, sir. Uh, I, what, what about me? Makes me seem I might not be progressive. I'm just a fucking crazy <laughs> sexual dynamo. I guess I'm a full true. of hate, but I'll fuck anybody. Sure, well. Just can be bisexual drugs. Come you're on. right. Yes, come on. I, I'm just a violent pansexual <laughs> warrior of the streets. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. And thank you for that shout out, other famous New Yorker, Charles the Oak Oakley. Anytime, brother. I know there's a basketball crowd up here, so I thought I'd use one that everyone would get. It's me, it's Spike Lee, it's Louis C.K., it's Ira Glass, and we're all just hanging out by John's house. Wow. Oh, yeah. A modern day New York pussy posse. <laughs> oh, man. Incredible. The Kings. On Jocks back. <laughs> Hell yeah, four, five, six for life, dog. Right. Let me get in next. Trip six coming right up, bro. Incredible. It's me, Lin Manuel. Oh, it's the place that it happens. I never read it or saw it. <laughs> well, council members. I read Hamilton, the book. I didn't need to see <laughs> the play. I read the, I read the musical book that Lin wrote. I gave him a lot of notes. Big I said, reader. make these guys people of color, would you? I think that would be fun. <laughs> For crying out loud, I've seen this story a hundred times. What if they're not white? That people. was me. That was all me. Wow. <laughs> you should have got credit for that. A lot of people are saying that. Well, all right. A lot of people seems... are saying it's stolen valor for me to go to the Tony Awards and say, my name's also Lin Manuel, and I was the guy who came up with the idea to put the V Diggs in there instead of some old frosty white guy. Well, is the V Diggs in that, or am I accidentally racist by accident oh, right. later? Okay, good. Woo! Uh, 
think all it right, comes around. All right, got it. Okay, it what's, all comes what's up, Almec? I'm sorry, I mean Easter Island, I mean, uh, whatever the fuck you go by. It's Jocks. Oh, Jocks! That's right. Hey, listen, uh, we had one council member who wanted a reminder of your wish. We've covered a lot of ground here. My wish, of course, is to increase my bench press from 315 for five sets of five to 320 for five sets of five. I'm flexible. I can go up to 325. I just don't have that many plates in my home gym. So I'd have to go out and go to the store. Got it. Or I can start hanging paint cans off like Unbreakables. That would be, that could be, that could be kind of badass. Everyone remembers that specific sequence from M. Night Shyamalan's <laughs> film, Unbreakables? Yes, it's, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, M. Knight is here. He's not a New Yorker. He's famously from Philly, but I'm glad you made it on the bus, the Fung Wah bus from New York. I, Fran Leibowitz, also remember that thing. Yes! A woman, finally. <laughs> I couldn't, I could I know, yeah, specifically. I knew the New York part, but I was just happy to think of a woman celebrity for us. Beautiful. The gang's all here to witness the council voting. I guess, oh, wow, you've really stacked the council tonight for members of, uh, of the council to vote. Yes, on your wish. Council members, it is time now to vote. Uh, Lin-Manuel, if you have any parting words to sway the council's vote, go ahead. Look, here's the thing. If I get to bench 320 by 5 by 5, I'll be so pumped, I'll be like I'm coming. Now, if I get killed and get eaten by junks, it'll feel so good, I'll feel like I'm coming. Is that a so, promise? That is a promise. You can bet on that, Brett Gelman. Little bit of luck. Fa another famous New Yorker. I'm spiraling here. I can't People believe. Famous, <laughs> yeah, he's Stranger Things. I he's tell on you, the <laughs> he's on the Mount Rushmore for sure. His kid, he, and I don't even think he's from New York. Now I feel I feel weird. But it, North Carolina School of the Arts. Thank Island you. Park, Illinois. All right, <laughs> as I thought. All right, Brett. But to me, you always be little bit of luck. The New York Lottery uh, mascot, and that to me is more important of a New Yorker than almost anyone. Anyone besides Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> what, about well, <laughs> what about me, Alicia Keys? Am I also a New Yorker? Is that I don't know. You might have you might have just wrote the song, but I, I bet you would that would be stolen valid. You're pretty fucked up if I'm not from New York. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen, New York. That's oh, right. oh, we the got city. one. That's really it. Oh, okay. That's where Daredevil is from. Well, Lin Manuel, <laughs> on that note, I've got great news for you. The yes. council has voted, and they have determined your wish will be granted. Oh. Yes! I'll be unstoppable at these firemen barbecues. I'll be getting so much firewife pussy. Congratulations, Lin Manuel. Now we're going to say the magic words. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your wish has been granted by junks. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your wish has been granted by junks. Wibbity wobbity wonks, we do it three times. Your wish has been granted by junks. Wibbity wibbit. Oh, three. Okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah little man. Yeah, don't. You can tell he's just so slightly stronger now. Look oh, you feel that? I feel like my upper pecs <laughs> hit up too. I hope it wasn't incline that the wish was granted. Let me see. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I could never do a push up before. <laughs> Congratulations. Wow. Your power has increased. Yes. You're free to go now. Go and, and lift five pounds more, Lin-Manuel. Thank you, Mr. Jonks. Farewell. Nope. No. Other way. No, I can tell the way down. It's, see, the mountain is just symmetrical, so it's confusing. It is. It's sort of an optical illusion. Yep, just Almost. continue backing. Yeah. <laughs> Farewell, traveler. Well, folks, we finally got one. A, a traveler we didn't kill. And we granted a wish, no less. If you're just joining us, folks, my name is Jonks. I'm a wish-granting demigod. I live at the top of this mountain, and travelers come from far and wide to have their wishes granted. But ultimately, it is up to you, the council members, to vote to determine if they are worthy of having their ultimate wishes granted, their ultimate desires realized. You hold the power. If we get... Nine more subs will blast off into outer space where you will get to wish upon a star. We all know what that means. Also, for five dollars, if a traveler comes up here and you really don't like him, I'll eat him. Blood, bones, and all. We've done that already twice tonight. It may happen with this next traveler, who I see approaching now. Josh, should we check out the guest book? Oh yeah, traveler, hold your horses. We gotta look okay. at the guest book. 
Jesus, what is that voice? Start. <laughs> Strong start. Whoa. Let's see. It seems like we got a big message somewhere uh, just off screen. Who's operating the camera on the guest book? I see. Oh, it's Deacons. Deacons is doing something artsy with the guest book. We got two entries here. Lil Uzi Nate said, wow, 25 months. Thanks, Gabrus. All right, well, you know, that's, it's mostly me up here, Jonks. Uh, and then Internet Crow said, wish for Jonks to make me wide five success. What? <laughs> oh, wide five out of five. Oh, wide. I see now. Thank you so much, Internet Crow. And thank you, Crystal Bear, for taking us one more sub to our goal. We are now... It's me, Sun Yi Sun Yi, yes, I think there's a game of, uh, what are they playing? CeeLo, get over here! It's me, Louis C.K. I'm hanging out with some Knicks players and playing CeeLo. You old son of a bitch, let me get over there. Okay, Alright, uh, I'm glad people are staying entertained in line. Grass Dragon, thank you so much for the subscription. Wow, we're only now seven subs away from going into outer space. I see now. Oh, and also, if you subscribe, you get to enter in the guest book. So if you su just subscribe, let us know what you want to write in the guest book. And I think I see. Oh, yes, Traveler, come on in. Come on. Yeah, come on right. in, Traveler. Perfect. Oh, are you going to talk like that the whole time? I will, we'll see how we feel. We'll yeah, okay. feel it out. Is your wish to have like a normal voice? What the just, fuck kind of a question is that? I'm just spitballing. No. Tis and there's a five dollar uh, donation. Immediate sacrifice. Not, not even a bumper. They didn't even give me the bumper. The bumper. <laughs> <laughs> now or never, people. All right. Does Can I explain wanna... my deal? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Go ahead. What's your deal? <laughs> my name is Max. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a boo from oh, the council. All right. Yes. They also specified this guy is who they're booing. Yeah, boo this guy. All right, what's your deal, guy? My name is Maxon Maxoff, and I know it's not going to do me any favors, <laughs> but I'm the most malevolent malcontent in the general vicinity. At least I, I didn't know Louie was here, but... You got a lot of competition now. But would you like to know my wish before you consume me whole? Uh, what do we think, council? Do we want to learn this guy's wish? We're getting a no, we're getting a yeah, we're getting a no. I'm seeing two yeses, yeses, three yeses. Okay, that's the majority. All right, okay. just get it out. All right, do your wish. My wish is for it to be physiologically impossible for women between the ages of 20 and 30 to get a UTI. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah. Kind of creepy, but I guess overall noble. Um, council members. Seems on the level, doesn't it? I guess. It, it just like the way that you're saying it makes me feel like there's some sort of weird ulterior motive here. Are there any women between the ages of 20 and 30 who watch this show? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I doubt it. On the Gabrus episode? <laughs> All one or two of you out there, $10 gets you UTI free. Never again do you have to worry about nasty little things and you, you know and you stuff. What do you think a UTI oh, is? We don't need to worry about that. Listen, ten dollars and you can hear me walk my way out of describing a UTI in detail, huh? Uh, here's a question from council member Grass Dragon. Why 20 to, uh, between 20 and 30? Why not just all women who have UTIs? So you'd like to know my plan, eh? <laughs> yes. You'd like to know what's up my sleeve? All yes. right, they're saving no. you. You've tempted, you've tempted no. the council. Uh. All right, what did you say your name was again? Maxon Maxoff, oh. the most malevolent right. malcontent in the general vicinity. Unless Woody Allen is also here with Sun Yi. Yeah, they're right up, right out of frame. Four, five, six, I did it. <laughs> okay. Um, what? For, and let's, uh, if we can, if we can raise the sacrifice price to $15 for, uh, Wax On, Wax Off. All right, Wax On, Wax Off. You were just about to explain why you are limiting... Max On, Max Off. Right, uh, whatever. Uh, you were just about to explain why you're limiting your wish to women ages 20 to 30 instead of mm. all women with STI, or UTI. UTIs or STIs? UTIs. UTIs. Got it. Very specific. Right, yeah. <laughs> Very niche wish. Ah, yes, well, 
I suppose so long as it doesn't alter the council's decision, I can go into greater detail about the nature of my little plan. Sure, okay. and let's go to the wide for this. Yes, why not? Let's see the whole shebang. All right, everyone knows that I'm a finished little thing, and so my plan is to, again, like I said, it's going to be impossible for UTIs for women between the ages of 20 and 30. Women between the ages of 20 and 30 are capable of anything. Anything at all. What's the one thing that gets in their way? Feminine health issues, right? Okay. If they don't get UTIs, think of how many brunches won't get canceled. Okay, and I'm not saying that they couldn't suffer through a UTI to go to brunch, but sometimes you're just not feeling it. You girls invite you out to the little mimosas to get some mimosas, and you're just not feeling it that day. And I don't think that you're not capable of going ultimately, but you, you would be more comfortable. You wouldn't turn down that spur-of-the-moment invite on a Sunday to get some mimosas with the gals, okay? Now, right. Sunday mimosas, you have to drive across town. More driving, more commuting in gas-guzzling vehicles, exacerbating climate change, speeding it up, slowly but surely, choking the atmosphere with CO2 until we gradually burn to a fine crisp. Okay, wait, so let me clarify here. The, the idea here is that by curing women ages 20 to 30 of their UTIs, they will then in turn be able to go to more brunches, which will cause more cars to be on the road, which will accelerate global warming. And, and this is your- this I is, couldn't have said it better myself. Wow, this is- I knew this was malicious. I knew- I knew this was fucking evil. I could tell by your whole vibe. All right, you piece of shit. Unfortunately, it's not up to me to decide whether you grant, I grant your wish. It's up to our council. Uh, but I, I'm gonna give it, uh, to our council members to ask you some clarifying questions here, because perhaps they'll find it a worthy trade-off. Just to, just, I, I think the main thing I'm interested in, Jonks, is confirming that this wish truly is as vile as I've summoned it up to be in my little noggin. I need to know that those people out there don't think that there's a good, like a net positive to this, to this wish. If people think ultimately this wish is good, I'll come up with another one. Well, I guess it's sort of like a roundabout way. You could have just sort of wished for global warming to happen naturally, you know, faster. Wait a little bit. It's all yeah, it's already happening. We're kind of over the tipping point from what I understand. We're all fucked. Ah, yes. But the IPCC out of the UN has said that we'll reach a climate tipping point at four degrees Celsius global climate rise. And you think the girls at brunch are going are gonna to yes. tip that scale? Yes, yes. Now, here's a question from the council. Have you ever seen a vagina? Of course. And describe that for me, if you would. It's what's on Riley Reed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, describe it for all of us. <laughs> it's we what's... All know. Oh, that guy doesn't know what it one is. No, that one, that, that guy doesn't know what it all is. No. That one doesn't know what it is. I'm Don Mattingly. <laughs> I know what a pussy looks Okay, okay. I've changed my wish. I've changed my wish. You're Forget the pussy. It? Forget the pussy. Forget it. <laughs> Okay, you're getting bogged down in specifics. My new wish is as follows. House every single unhoused individual across these United States. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> oh, you little fools. You fools. You bought right into my rules. Okay. Well, we haven't granted the wish yet. What's the, what's the other part of the plan here? Oh, you'd like to know, wouldn't you? you yes. Little fuck you, little piece of shit. All right. Well, okay, I'll tell very you. Very disrespectful way I'll to speak tell to the you. guy in charge I'll, of granting okay, your wish. I'll tell you, okay? Without the unhoused, a wealthy parent dynamic, a sort of nuclear household driving through, driving down Fifth Avenue in Los Angeles, can't turn to their left and right and go, tsk, tsk. And the tisk tisks prevent them from seeing just a few blocks down in the nicer part of town a new artisanal salad restaurant. And in the back of their car is the future, the future boy who will become the time traveler who does go back in time to kill Hitler. Wait, what? Listen, Whoa, all right, you really lost me with this and one. And if they aren't... Whoa, hear that? Counts as pro-Hitler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. I knew it. Shit. <laughs> God damn it. Allow me to clarify, okay? <laughs> so, in the back of the car is the boy. And if they go to the artisanal salad restaurant, right. where they serve little artichokes on the salad, 
the likelihood of him choking before he can accomplish his deed, his final act, his greatest act. <laughs> and we're getting a boo from the council. Listen, man, if you just want this, Hitler to come no. back to life, wish for it. I'm going to do it. I, I have no Don't stake in it. Do it. Um, Look, I don't I would want be a to real do it. Nasty piece of shit, wouldn't I, Junks? This is a. Uh, what I'm. Look, I'm saying we don't kill Hitler. Does that make sense? You don't uh, want to kill Hitler. Right. Right. I guess that does make sense. So why don't you just wish for that instead of wishing for all the homeless people to. Okay. <laughs> Seems like you're really driving the ire of the. Uh, of the council here. Jonks, Not enough for $15. Jonks, if it wasn't already clear, Jonks, yeah. the initial sort of thing is to right. kind of like... Look, I the get the game. The boat. Yes, okay. I got the game. <laughs> good, good, the game is good, clear. Great, perfect. I guess what I'm trying to do is have you justify your your perspective a little bit here. If we're, if we're really deconstructing it. <laughs> He's a villain. Getting a lot of booing from Jonks being pro-Hitler. No, All right. Specifically for you, they're specifying that in the chat. All right, hmm, listen. I'm seeing a lot of people saying "wibbity wibbity Whitler." Apparently, Jonks is pro Hitler. That's what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. That's trending on Twitter. Uh. Hey, Jonks, can we get a sacrificial favor? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, it's going to be cost you fifteen dollars to kill this guy. All right. Uh, listen. What if I could play a little decord on this bad boy? Is that your wish? <laughs> no, no. You're just saying, what if? My wish is to house all the unhoused. <laughs> all right. I think we're gonna. <laughs> I think we're gonna bring up the poll now to decide whether or not your name was what? Maxon Maxoff. Yes. Maxon Dylan, Maxoff. Bad guy. Mean motherfucker. Piece of shit. Yeah, you. You're bad vibes for sure. Oh, okay. J Nels wants a refund. <laughs> oh, ah, there it is. Shit. All right. There it is. We're killing your ass. Okay. So it's really seeming like the the problem is they're not understanding the the housing thing. Right? We all so, get it, oh, okay. man. All right. We're all on the same page. Thank you, council member taxman, for doing what we all wanted to do. All right. I guess for the sake of tradition, I will give you a moment now, Max on, Max off, to try to convince the council to donate twenty dollars to spare your life. Oh, let's say you get 30 seconds. Your time starts now. I've seen the finale of Succession, and I can tell you that it's Greg. Greg becomes the CEO. Wait, you're, spo you're using your time to spoil Succession? I'm a bad fucking guy! I'm a mean motherfucker! I'm an asshole! Greg becomes the CEO, and it's a big goo. Oh, what's, what's going on? Greg's the CEO, and it's because Matson likes him. If you've been paying attention to the last few episodes, matson has been having fun with Greg. They go out and they have dinner all the time. They have it. They're going. He calls him handsome Greg. Sexy. He calls him sexy at the funeral. He's gonna give. He's gonna be the one uh, American CEO. It's so clear. You all should have seen it coming. That uh, doesn't feel right to me. Uh, uh, it, it's a Greg Herring. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that Woody? Has anyone seen my daughter? Uh, excuse me. Uh, my wife. <laughs> He's cleaning us out at CeeLo right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's rolling just four, five, six after four, five, six. I've never seen anything like this. Jonks, to be clear with you, uh, whenever I walk into a room, I know I'm the most evil piece of shit there. And I kind of, like, rely on that feeling. That's sort of the, the, the negative vibes. And the second I saw Woody over there with his child bride, I thought to myself, kind of, kind of getting my legs swept out from under me, you know? Louis here too, baby. Don't fuck with New York. You know, I heard that he times jacking off to zero. Like, he j he comes at zero. He counts down. I yeah. heard that from comedian John Gabriel yeah. specifically. Who was yeah. on... I'm here, too. I'm a D-level New Yorker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a dice game just coming for that. <laughs> this is fucking weird-ass shit. <laughs> All right, As Max. the most evil piece of shit on the planet, do Gino the intern. Do Gino. <laughs> do Gino. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. I'm going to eat this guy do right Gino. now.
Welcome back, council members. If you're just joining us, my name is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain. You guys get the deal. Got some more stuff in the guest book. We got some more stuff in the guest book. Let's have a look. Thank you, subscribers. Oops. Oh, <laughs> all right. Looks like the guest book is glitching. I'll take this moment to read Councilmember Abby Sally's comment, who says, I really hope we get to do the sub game tonight. <laughs> Couldn't agree more, Abby Sally, and we will be able to do it for a mere seven more subs. If we hit our goal tonight, we'll go into outer space and do a whole other thing. We're almost there. We're almost there gonna. Is. There it is, Crystal oh, Bear. Uh, Abby Sally says, "Jonks, how big is it? Is that a question or is that like a exclamatory statement, like?" Junks, how big is it? Uh, I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't really work as a statement. The how sort of makes it a question. I guess. I guess that's how big is it? Um, this guest book has really wow, really struggling to read right now. This guest book has really high quality paper. Neat, says Crystal Bear. Thank you for that. Yeah, we have magic paper that sometimes makes the text completely disappear. Uh, thank you, Bromio, Brom. Bromiodo, Bromodo, Bromeodo. Thanks, guy. Thanks, friend. Uh, Whoa. Uh, hey, Who's Jones. This? Long time no see. It's me, Indiana Jones. Oh my God, Indy. How's it going, buddy? It's. I'm doing well. How's that? How's that weird dick thing? I'm that out you of have? pills. I need a little refill on that. Right. But that's not my wish. Are you sure? Because every time you've come here in the past, you've wished for medication for your weird dick rash. I do need the dick pills from you. You're the only one who does it. My pharmacy can't hit it quite like you do. But, I'm in a little bit of a bind, okay. and I need your help. What do you need, Indy? Listen, I'm an archaeologist, I'm an explorer. Right. I do all these different stuff. <laughs> right. I go out into the world, and I, of course I'm going to have a little fun while I'm out there. I'm going to find, you know, an ancient artifact, I'm going to go to the bar, I'm going to be like, yeah, this is a skull from some old guy, it's pretty cool. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know, you meet some people, you, you find some places, there's a sort of an underground economy of what some people call like sex tourism. Oh boy. So I'm out there. Indy, I mean, you can't be doing that with your dick condition. When I have your pills, it's fine. You told me that. Yes. So well, you're I, out. But yeah, uh, well, I just ran out. Look, I'm okay, responsible, good. Johns. I appreciate Please that. Please don't, don't paint me for some awful person. So I'm doing the sex tourism <laughs> and I'm out there. Right. And I'm on one of these islands and, and suddenly I get a call from someone and they say, hey, you need to go meet your son. Uh-oh. And I go, what are you talking about? And they go, Indiana, you have a child with me. Cool, was my mind blown. Oh my I'm not God. ready to be, I'm 48 years old. I can't be a parent. But you're 48? Yeah. You look horrible. I, I feel great. When I have these dick pills, I feel unstoppable. Okay, so what's the deal with this kid? Did you go and meet him? I did. And he's a little baby. So he doesn't talk much. It's kind of boring to be around. Sure. But I figured, okay, this is real. I, got, I had a paternity test. This is real. This Who's is the mother? It's one of the... One of the... Let's not get into specifics. Let's not use labels. Yeah. But one of the people that a certain head of a head of a village kind of... A tour guide, if you yes, will. Yes, yes. And let's not get into it too deep. Right. But I'm thinking, holy crap, you know, like I'm... I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of responsibility. I'm sleeping with all my students still, and I'm like, how am I going to sort of navigate this? So I've come to you to just, like, wish for, to get, like, can you be its dad? Wait, you want me to take on fatherhood? I would role? love for you to raise my bastard child, Jonks, and take good uh... care of him. Because listen to me, I love that boy like he was my own flesh and blood. Okay, seems like you don't. No, I do. I'm just busy. I'm out in the world. I'm right. discovering things. I'm sleeping with all my students. I got a lot going on. Okay? Well, Indy, if I grant this wish, what are you going to do about the dick pills? I was just hoping you'd help me out. Why do I have to wish for that every time? Haven't Look, we figured out a report dick yet? Pills. They're not like, it's not like I just know a guy. I don't have a plug for these things. I literally create them out of magic. I'll take a plug for these things. If you have someone who can get me these things, I don't stop coming to you. I can leave you alone. Listen, Once man, the thing you child. have, the thing you have isn't something that modern medicine can fix. It literally takes magic to fix your cock. All right, well then why don't you wish for these 
I'm and not. Then I'll wish for my thing. Listen, it's either the dick pills or your son. Fuck. That's the ultimatum, Indiana Jones. <sighs> Fuck. This could be your greatest adventure yet. <laughs> oh, I'm not really going anywhere. This is well, sort of I like a selfie like choice for Indiana Jones. Yeah. Indy's choice. Indy's choice. Indy's choice. Dick pills. Do I get the or pills that make my dick giving normal? Giving away your son. Thank you, Ritz to Cat. Do I get the pills that make my dick normal, or do I have somebody else foster my bastard child for me so I don't have to worry about it? Ah, uh, tale as old as time. Thanks very much. <sighs> and now, now we're only five subs away from hitting our goal. It's been a while since I've been off these pills. What happens if I'm not on the dick pills? Because last it got, it was a real mess down there. Yeah, it's going to get worse. All right. I think that's a no-brainer. I think I'll take the dick pills and I'll just pretend that phone call never happened. Okay, well, I thought you were gonna say, I guess I'll be the father that my, well, I assume that you, what, what was your relationship like My dad like and I dad? were a little weird, but we had a whole movie together. We had a whole thing we did oh, together. okay. He wasn't great to me, but we had, we spent some time together. I will not I be doing that with my son. Okay. All right, well, I guess really it's a little the, kid, too. Sharp kid? Oh my God. One I and a half. he was half. a baby. One and a half, he already knows his shapes. Okay. He already moves stuff into the right things. He's colors. He's he's gonna be a bright kid. Probably gets that from his mom. Nothing huh? to do with him. Couldn't right. be less interested. Okay. All right, well. Let's go ahead and get the poll up to decide whether or not we are going to re-up Indy on his dick pills. And uh Wait, we have to put that to a poll? Yes, it's a it's a wish. I need these, man. Well, I really need these. I the council yeah, that would be the real twisting of the knife if you came all I the get, way up here if and I get you neither did it. the dick pills nor someone to foster my child yeah I need the pills guys there's Nazi artifacts that have to be discovered Ooh, this stuff it's a can't, close one. that stuff can't happen unless I have these if you want me to do the important archaeological work that defines our generation in terms of modern science and discovery I need these. I can get you, I've, I've offered you this before, Junks, I can get you Muammar Gaddafi's forearm. I can get that for you anytime you need. I have it sitting in the van right now. It's just sitting in the van? Yeah. Is I it have at a least bunch... like in a cooler or something? No, it's not a preserved forearm, it's just the bone. Oh. Gross. I can get you that, I can get you so many different things. I can get you Assad Senior's skull. <laughs> just the actual the skull. We're closing out the poll. <laughs> It looks like, Indy, by the skin of your dick, you That's will right. be getting these pills. And by the skin of my dick, my dick's skin will... will there's, some, there's something there. There's something there. By the skin of my dick, my dick's skin will... Remain. Buy. Something like that. I'll buy my... Yeah, we yep. don't need to do it. We don't have to. We all get it. Well, Indy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what I always do, which is please make good choices. You know, you I don't... always do. Okay. And How have really... you been, Jocks? You need anything? How's um, your life? Well, I'm doing okay. I, uh, I've eaten two people today. I gave one guy the ability to bench five pounds more than he used to be able to. That's awesome. Uh, one guy, one guy encouraged a child. Oh, <laughs> oh Gabrus is here? Yeah, oh, Woody Gabrus... Allen is here. Gabrus is throwing I, dice with yeah, Woody yeah, Allen and Louis C.K. I, I, I brought him. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's the only one willing to work with him. <laughs> During the strike, Woody Allen. I didn't realize yeah, that Gaberson and Woody, Woody Allen were so tight. Woody Allen's close personal friend and, and scab, John Gabers, is here throwing dice. That's awesome. Just out of frame. I gotta get in on that dice game. I'm gonna do that once All I get right, these All right, yeah, skills. you go head over there. Anyway, you got any plans? Anything coming up? You doing good? Uh, I'm gonna just kind of try to forget about the coach that I ate who encouraged a child to kill himself by sticking his head under a moving bus earlier. Cool. All right. Uh, I guess uh, take care, Indy. And you gotta uh, do the Liberty Walks. Oh right, yeah. Shit for your pills. Right. Okay. Oh, apparently you forgot about your stepdad as well. Oh right, my stepdad. I'm going to a uh, going to a Diamondbacks game with him. Nice. Yeah. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jonks. Wibbity wobbity wonks. Your wish has been granted by Jobs. Congratulations, Indiana Jones.
Awesome. I'm off to Trinidad and Tobago. You take care, okay? Okay. I'm sure whatever he gets up to down there will be totally above board. Folks, We're also we just here. got... Godfrey, Noah Bombach, and Michael Rappaport. Wow, the gang's really all here. Thank you so much, Sentinel, for the uh, gifted sub. We're now... I thought we were already at 10, but it says we're still at 10. I don't know what's going on, folks. We need... Where's the... Where's the... Why is it still... Yeah, we need five more, I think. Where's the anonymous person who always comes in here and drops five all at the same time? Uh, all right, folks. If you don't know me, I'm Jonks. I grant wishes at the top of the mountain. People come here, including my stepdad, Indiana Jones, Coach Cunt. You know, all the... All the stars... Uh, but I think I see another traveler making their way up right now. Hello, traveler. Whoa, a warrior approaches. That's correct. A great warrior approaches. My goodness. And who is thy Jonks, giant stonehead at the top of Jonks Mountain? Tis I, Jonks. And who are you, traveler? Me? I'm Marty. <laughs> Marty, uh, maybe, you, maybe you've heard tales of my adventures. I'm one of the greatest adventurers, duelists, uh, rescuemen, warriors, knights, I've, ranger of the greens. I've heard only legend of the great warrior, Marty. Well, now Marty stands before you. For I have come with my head hanging in shame, requiring the help of a demigod, which goes against everything Lord Marty believes in that he himself has the power to change the world for the better. But I realize now, without you, mighty Jonks, there is no way I can continue. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. It pains me to see you this way, Marty. What is it that brings you to my mountaintop domain? As you know, the necromancer Atreus, who I must <laughs> duel in battle weekly, he has gained the ability of shape-shifting and has confused me countless times. He has come to me as an image of a busty barmaid, and I went about stimulating her clitoris and nether regions with my hand, right as Atreus turned back into himself, and he snapped a magic picture of me that was then projected as a hologram over the town square of me, startled and then smelling my fingers when I learned that the busty barmaid was not a busty barmaid at all, but my arch nemesis, the necromancer Atreus. It was a boomerang. It's really funny. <laughs> yes, it has gone viral, as the kids say. I'm getting all sorts of messages. I guess it's on something called Ebaum's World. <laughs> Damn you, Atreus. Ah, uh, uh, the same thing I said when he <laughs> fooled me that once. But you know the expression, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me over a dozen times in the short span of a fortnight. Then it is time to reach out to Jonks. Well, it appears a council member is spanning the F button to skip this cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, are we stuck in a cutscene, is that correct? Unfortunately, this is an unskippable cutscene. Ha 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 ha! Allow me to tell you more of times that my arch nemesis, the necromancer Atreus, confused and confounded and confided and confused and took control of me. One night he pretended to be my long dead wife who I performed oral sex on, and as you know, I'm a bit of a sicko bottom, so I had her grind my face in what we call the game Soak the Beard. She went ham Just as, as the she... legends foretold. <laughs> Just as the legends foretold. You have read it in the prophecy before you, and now I tell you that soaking the beard is real. But what is not real is that it wasn't the ghostly apparition of my now-deceased wife, Madam Tiffany. It was much worse than that. It was... You guessed it. Atreus! Damn you, Atreus! He came, he transformed back in time just for my nose to slip way too deep into his fuzzy asshole. <laughs> 
I was upset, and not because of the gay stuff. I'm open to that. I was more upset with the idea that Atreus had fooled me and had me believe that my wife, Madame Tiffany, had come back to my... Oh no, wait, what happened to Madame Tiffany? She died years ago when I thought... Here's the thing, Atreus, before he could shapeshift himself, he had the ability to shapeshift other people. Oh my god. So he shapeshifted my my wife, Madame Tiffany, into someone named Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate. Marty, get back up. Marty, take one Sorry, step yes, back. yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, this makes more sense. I can see you so much better now, Jonks. Yes, perfect. Yes, you're in my view. That's correct. Tom Brady came into my house to kiss me on the lips as if I was his son during a massage. And once he arrived over my, <laughs> stepped over my threshold, I knew that the only thing to be done was to grab the striker, S-T-R-Y-K-E-R-T-M, that is the name of my magical sword, and slay Lord TB12, much like the Giants had slain him the previous years. And of course, after I had cut off Tom Brady's head, Right. His head had turned back into my wife, Madame Tiffany. And at that moment entered Lord Atreus, the necromancer, my arch nemesis, giggling like a little magic school girl. That's a school girl that goes to magic school. Not a magic girl in a normal school. Of course, we only have magic school. Yes. The rest of us are uneducated. Just as the legends clarified. That's right. If you read all the addendums, the, uh, the legend's starting to look a lot like Infinite Jest. The legendary And that people are carrying it around, but I'm not not sure they've fully read it. It's more one of those things you just say you read it and no one asks you any follow-ups. Atreus was just waiting outside your house and he like walked in through your front door? Yes, apparently he had escorted her there. He, I, it was a brutal, it was, sorry, I keep scaring myself with the striker. Let me, <laughs> look, I was fooled by Atreus many, many times and I, I need the wish I need a wish granted in which I can get some sort of magic goggles or spectacles that allow me a vision of true sight so I not be fooled by a necromancer's illusions no more. He's not even an illusionist. It's he's a necromancer. He focuses mostly on death magic and even his subsphere of the illusion magic works so well on me because of how dumb I am. Yes. Due to a horse-related accident of when I was 13. That's right. I was filleting a horse when that horse turned into Atreus, the necromancer, my arch rival. And another horse got jealous because they were a homophobe. They were fine with me sucking off the horse. Once they saw me sucking off the necromancer, Atreus, my arch nemesis. That that moment, the horse went ape shit or horse shit, if you will. Bucked, kicked me in the head, split open my brain. The barber was only able to get so much back in. And now I stand before you, jonks, sweaty. Due to the unbreathability of my tunic of magic polyester. <laughs> One of the few things in the armory that fit me. <laughs> Luckily, in time for battle, I was able to find yet another sort of uh, stolen cultural appropriation hat. <laughs> a culturally appropriated shirt, and of course, a katana. Something that white guys took a long time ago. <laughs> I know we're not out of this cutscene yet, but we're sacrificing him. Marty, yes. it seems Atreus is in the council. He's sacrificing your life. Atreus, the whole time? It wasn't Atreus. It wasn't Creative Steve 69. It was Atreus pretending to be Creative Steve 69. Creative. Legendary warrior Marty, it appears that you were double-crossed by the by uh, the shapeshifter Atreus, who disguised himself as one of our council members and donated five dollars to have you sacrificed. Unfortunately, this magic cannot be undone except if somebody donates ten dollars. <laughs> Only then can the magic be undone and your life be spared. You will have to convince the council to donate ten dollars. Oh, but wait, hold on, you're getting a phone call. <laughs> the phone is ringing? <laughs> wait, we okay. gotta go back to the wide for this to effect to work. Alright, yes. working on it. Holding for wide. 
All right, allow me. It's right. Watch out, it's going to explode out of the ground. Oh, yeah, let me get out of the way. Careful. Yeah. Let us do our cool animation. Sorry, texture popping. All right, bring in the phone Let's booth. Do the phone first. There it there is. It is. Oh, okay. okay, there it is. Step and up to the I'm phone. I'm going inside of it as I want to. <laughs> Who could it be on the other line? Who can it be on the other line? Hi there, you got Atreus. Oh my god. Atreus, is this really you? you oh shit! So it's pretty easy for you to just lie about your name on this. <laughs> oh shit, hi bitch! How you doing? Oh Atreus, how dare you double cross me right when I was in front of Lord Jonks, paying, begging for my life so that I may gain some goggles of true vision to be able to combat you and stop getting caught fingering you in various taverns and bars. You know, if you were so miffed about me doing this number on you, I feel like you maybe would just, like, commit to abstinence because, like, everybody you're fucking ends up being me. Yeah, well, I don't think you understand Atreus. A necromancer focuses so much on death magic that they forget how good it feels to come. <laughs> I, as a human warrior, remember my father before me and my his father before him spilling their seed and talking about how fucking awesome it felt. So now I, too, intend to come upon every opportunity. Why can't you just jerk off, you goofball? Oh, well, I would jerk off, but don't you remember what you did to me at the foot of Mount Heliocto? Yes, oh, how easily you forget, Atreus, where you... Shape shifted into the shape of my hand, and I was using it to jerk off, thinking it was my own hand. And then you came to and revealed it was actually your armpit and part of your body. And you made me feel like such a little pig. That Just was a while foretold. That That's was a right. wild five minutes we had there. That was, was a wild five minutes. Five I was only minutes. able to come two of the three planned times. And when you came to with your armpit crusted full of You gotta of my hydrate. Teeth. How often am I telling you you gotta hydrate? Next um, I know. It's the problem is on the road, there's only so many potions of hydration that one can come across. The road's pretty tough, huh? Road's the road is tricky. to Atreus. I feel like I'm walking slowly into another trap here. <laughs> All I'm saying is, like, what if we're like the band? What if you're like the leave on him to my whatever the guy playing the guitars now? Robbie what? Robertson. Robbie Robertson. What yeah. if you're the leave on to my Robbie and we gonna have to retire? Even though, And even though we kind of, like, ain't too close to personally right now, even though you kind of have this hate in your heart for me. What if we was to get off the road and settle down? Retire, throw some sort of Thanksgiving uh, night huge concert, we call it the Van last walk. in <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah, invite, the meal, invite both meals. Uh, yeah. the young, the cokehead, Diamond, the Jew. Get them all in here. <laughs> and, I'll say, and I'll be Robert Robertson and I'll say, we gotta get Neil Diamond on stage. I don't care if Smokey is in <laughs> I don't care if the crack rock is yeah. visible from Marty's 70 millimeter cameras. Marty Scorsese also here on the mountaintop. Always a pleasure to see you. Hey, how's it going? What do you think of Ant-Man Quantumania? Yeah, What's your talk oh, about Quantumania? Oh, he loves it! He came around! That's the one he liked? All right, Atreus, I'll trust you this one last time. You forced me to cut the head off my wife, and you've had me... Uh, you startled me mid-orgasm dozens of times in the last fortnight, but that is not enough. You've come to me with a vision of peace in your mind, a vision of a giant magical rock up Neil Young's nose, and I... And Ringo like, come at the end, too. Oh. Joni yeah. will play Coyote. <laughs> yes, she, I hope she does. I hope she does. All right, Atreus. I'm going to fight for my life because I, I can't wait to see you at the ballroom in San Francisco. I'm honestly so glad we could work this out because if this didn't work out, I was going to be your 16-year-old hinge date to Quantumania, and I feel like you've already seen it because you asked him already what his thoughts were. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you got me out of that. I was kind of boxed into a weird situation. I met her at a Crystalia show. I thought she was <laughs> thought she was of age. <laughs> Do you have any inside stories about Crystalia? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. yeah. From the phone. <laughs> Hold on. Step away from the phone. Watch out for the pick. Alright, so we'll say my name. So we talk about Chris. Is that Chris Delia? Oh god. Oh shit. He's throwing dice with Woody and Louie. And, and John Gabris. <laughs> you can't say with us. We're about to start doing dominoes. You're from New York. Get out of here. Well, let's go back to the to the close shot because we were just in the middle of sacrificing Marty. Oh, yeah, man. let me go. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> well, Marty, unfortunately, even after that conversation where it appeared that you made amends with Atreus, the magic cannot be undone without a $10 donation. And so, Marty, it is up to you now to convince the council to donate $10 and spare your life. Yeah, just I just can't make a case for it. <laughs> All right, well, hey, uh, sorry, real quick. Uh, I'm Postmates. I got a delivery. Uh, it's from a guy named uh, Detreus. Oh, it's Atreus, but yeah, I no, see. No, no, he, he actually wanted me to specify that if you think it's him, say no, it's not Atreus. And he said this is for jerking off if you want to. But he said there's nothing to be suspicious about. Thank you, Atreus. Tip on the app. You tip on the app. Of course. Wait, he's. I have to tip. <laughs> Atreus! <laughs> yum 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 yum. Well, folks, we are nine minutes, seven minutes, I'm being told, away from uh, the end of wish granting, which means it looks like we're not going to be blasting into outer space. However, I think we do probably have time for another traveler whose wish we may grant. So let's have a look. If you're just joining us, my name, of course. Oh, and there's the chat. Wibbity wobbity wonks, your ass has been eaten by junks. Thank you, council member. Uh, folks, if you're just joining us, my name, of course, is Jonks. I live at the top of this mountain. I grant wishes. But of course, it's up to you to decide whether or not those wishes get granted as the council. I think I see a traveler approaching. Thank you all for joining us this evening. Oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Is this a good place for me to stand? Uh, I suppose that's a good as place as any, uh, traveler. Hit my mark. My god, what, um... What... What brings you here? Greetings, I'm the T-1 Poundin, and I've come here from the future to save your puny human race. You've come from the future? That's right. My goodness. I've come here to the year 2001 to save the world Wait by a minute. stopping something. Oh no. What? What's wrong? It's um... It's no longer 2001. Oh god, you're kidding me. You're, you're really late. What but year is it? It's 2023. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Yikes. Look. This is awkward. My wish is that you send me to the year 2001 so I can make sure that something that did not happen happens and thus saves the human race forever. Oh, thank goodness. You're... I assume you're going back to prevent those terrorists from uh, taking over those planes and flying them into the World Trade Center. That's where you're wrong. I'm, oh, there, no. I'm there to help them. They missed one target. Oh, one God. man who made some unholy documents and pieces of art. I'm here to kill the one Seth MacFarlane. <laughs> That was a pretty good episode. I thought wow! So cool. What a show! Thanks for Folks. joining everybody. We're the Everything Now Show. We do this four nights a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So follow if you haven't yet. Come back for another one soon. Follow all this shit below here. All this Make sure stuff. you're following Especially all this. Especially this one. The Especially YouTube. this one. Please. Please. It's Give driving me insane. It's driving us crazy, folks. All the episodes of Everything Now Thank show, you, every Sally. single one, over 370 episodes around that are number. on the YouTube. So go back, and if you had fun at this one, watch the old ones. If you liked this show, come back. Thursday, Thursday night for another episode. It'll be another interactive comedy show. It won't be Jonks. It'll be something totally different, but Believe it'll still be... Believe it's Lifting Spirits. Oh. So come on back oh, yeah. for a spooky, spooky episode. If you want updates on the show, join the Everything Now Show Discord. It's how you can get 
all the latest information on the show. You can also submit images that we use in the show. All those. The Discord's pinned is so easy. It's so easy. It's Just so click easy. the link, folks. All the images from tonight's show, the like bonus wishes, that uh, that um, eggplant parmesan, that was submitted by you, the viewers at home. And the only way to do that is to join the Everything Now Show Discord. Great job. Uh, we have wonderful guests every episode on this show. And tonight but we're usually we're lying different. about it. Yes. Tonight we're not. We are genuinely so stoked to have this guest. Yes. Let's bring him out, folks. It's John It's Gabriel. John Davis. Yes. Pose under the sign. Is this where the phone is? The phone? Grab yeah, the phone. Stand under the Everything Now Show stunt sign. Give us a little pose. Do a pose for the Instagram. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. Yes. There it is. Get the strong island Ooh, out there. There it is. Please. Beautiful. Cool. And they're back. Cabris, hey, thanks so much. You crushed it, man. Oh. Uh, we have, I believe, your Instagram. If you do exclamation point guest. Yeah, gonna, that's fine. Anything cares. else you want to plug? High and Mighty? You yeah, let check them know. out my podcast, High and Mighty and Action Boys. Sure. Um, and then also 101 Places to Party Before You Die, now on Max. Now Whoa. on Max. So go ahead and download the new app they just introduced today. <laughs> yeah, it's the old one. Yeah, this is a bummer because I was riding off free HBO Max for like a year <laughs> and a half, yeah. and now I'm gonna be bagged and I'm gonna have to start paying for this. That's show. half the reason they changed to get all the people who they <laughs> gave shows to off the thing. Yeah. So Damn it! To start paying <gasps> for it. Uh, yeah, uh, this is another great where usually people are plugging shows at the yard and it's everyone in the chat is not in L.A. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you're not in L.A., you can listen to High and Mighty, you can listen to Action Boys, and you can watch 101, 101 Places, places to, party to Party Before You Die. It's a fucking mouthful. Oh, five dollars, kill myself, got it. <laughs> <laughs> We love a guest who can take a hint. Thank you yes. so much We're again. We're going to kill his ass off camera. Who are we uh, raiding? We're going to raid, I don't know. Let's have a look at who's online. Thanks, sure. everyone, for joining. Yeah, thank uh, you for being here. And truly thank you to Gabrus. This rocks. Yes. This yeah. is so cool. Really appreciate it. Come on. What a great Come guy. on out again. Yeah. 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 What a great What's guy. up? Look at that. Uh, look at really these in the arcade. really enjoying the frame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's always changing. Uh, Luke's going. Luke's going. Apparently, that's what Mitch oh, says. Luke yeah. Taylor. We're going to send you over to Luke Taylor, the, the Luke, Luke man. man. Doing a little Lord of the Rings perspective. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, me and my boys. Hey. In reality, nice, we're in the Muppet. same room. Uh, please join us on Thursday for an all new episode with Aniko Romlo, Josh Satuba, is that you yep. say his name? And Kelly Riley. It's going to be a really fun it's one, be folks. Spooky and fun. Spooky and fun. It's true. Fun. It's bye, true. Bye, Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye, everybody. Wow, hey.